All right, so the first thing I want to get out of the way is digitizing is not an art. It is not complicated, and you're just tracing. So what you need to learn are just the tools. It's just tracing and knowing the tools. So again, it's not an art. Don't let people bully you in saying it is, because it's not. So, and, and I'll maintain that through every class, so get used to hearing that. Now, the first tool that you want to know about is the open shape, and what that does is exactly uh, what it sounds like. So we'll just do one here, and you press enter, and it's just going to leave you with an open shape, a, a line here. A closed shape is just what that sounds like. So if you're going to do that, you'll click on there, and then it, it's actually closed up. Uh, the one thing that's cool about a closed shape is that you can do it as a line there or a run stitch. We'll talk about those in a minute. Or you can fill it up with a satin stitch or a tatami stitch. Now, that brings me up to the next thing you'll need to know. This is a very beginner class. If you're past this, then move on to the next classes I have. But this is day one in any Wilcom product. So you can have outlines which are run stitches or satin stitches that just run on the outside of something. Then you have fill stitches, which fill them up with something. And you have a whole lot of products here, but the main ones you'll be using is a, a satin stitch or you're going to be using a tatami stitch. And we'll get into those in the future lessons. But today what I want to get you used to doing is just right-clicking and left-clicking. So on Wilcom products, your main motions will be a left click, and I'll show you here, a left click for straight lines and a right click for curved lines. So you can see how the line is curving, I'm right clicking. So you can right click, you can left click, right click, left click, and you see how that curved right there, and that's the action that you're gonna get. Those are the main actions, and then there's other tools but the main action is a right click and a left click. Now, what I want to explain to you is as soon as you get that muscle memory, you won. That's it. So what I want to do is just go through some basic exercises for you. So the first thing you learn is this is a left click. Hold your control button and it's going to stick, right? So left click, left click, left click, left click. And there you have a square. And it's a done deal. It's uh, so you can make that a little bit bigger. And there you have a square, or you can fill that up with a fill stitch. And there that is a satin stitch, and that's too big. And that's the next thing we'll talk about. Satin stitches are for like medium sized objects. This is obviously pretty large. These little squares you see are millimeters. Tatami stitches are for larger objects, and your run stitches are for little details to go inside of those. So now you know what those are. So when you click around, you saw that that was click, 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 four clicks, and you had a simple square. The next one is your circles. Now, straight up round circles like this are pretty easy. Let's just do it again here. You're going to have a single left click here. Then you can just right click, right click, right click, right click, hit your enter button. And you see, now, this is really cool because you can see that it didn't really work all the way there. We'll fill it up anyways with a fill. Now you can have your reshape button here. And I'm just going to show you. I'm not, this isn't like a part of the class now, but you can always add on a little node and fix that if you want to. So we can always fix something. So don't get hung up, and you'll learn that in the next classes. Don't get hung up if you think something's not right. When I first started this, I was just deleting every time I messed something up and didn't realize I could have fixed it. So let's do that again. And another thing that you can uh, do is if you do a, a click or a stitch that you didn't like, you can always hit the back backspace button. So here's a right click, a left click, excuse me. There's a right click. And if I didn't like that, just hit the backspace button, it'll let go, and then I'll do it again somewhere else. So we'll do a right click, another right click, and another right click. And there you go. There's your perfect circle there. Tatami fill. Done deal. Now we're going to do a combination of the both of those. 
And what you should do is just keep doing shapes. Any shape that you can find, even on Google, just grab a few shapes of different things. It's all about the shapes. My wife told me this a few years ago, and it's just true. It's all about shapes. That's all it is. So let's do this. We're going to start here, and this is a straight left click. Another left click. Now, what's interesting about this here is you can go right click, or excuse me, you can left click right here at the beginning, right click here, and then do another left click, and it's like almost perfect every time. Come down here and do the same thing. This is just a straight left click. Then you can right click in the middle, and then left click on the end. And you see there, it's almost perfect every time. Get that muscle memory. That's all we're doing. Right click, or that's a left click. A right click. A left click. And that's it. We'll do it again. We'll do it again here. There's a right click and there's a left click. And there's there it is. It's done. And then we'll fill it up again with the tatami stitch. So wrap. So this one is a little bit more difficult. Let's go down this one here. Now get on in there too, man. Usually people like to say get in there about 600%. Sometimes that's too big, but definitely get in there. In another class, I'm going to show you why that makes a difference. But anyways, let's try this one here. Let's just go. Now, this is an open shape, right? So this is a straight left click. Now, you can right click here a little bit if you want to. Then get another click there. And there's no right or wrong way to do this, right? So, but I'm going to left click here, right click. It's the same thing we did a minute ago. Another left click. And you see that bend there? It's like perfect. Then I'm going to right click, right click. And uh, I'm going to do the same thing here. Left click, right click, left click. Now that looks weird, right? So I'm going to go back. I'm going to start here. I'm going to do a straight click. Now I'm going to do another straight click here. Right click. See, I, and you, it's, you can just make mistakes and do what you need to do. I'm going to go straight down here until I get to the curve. Then I'm going to curve around. We do a, a straight click, which is a left click for me. Right click. Another one there, and there's your curve, your left click. I'm going to right click down here, right click, right click, and just keep going down the curve. This is just a straight click there, left click, right click, left click. I don't like that, right? So I'm going to back up a little bit and do it again. I don't like it again. So if I don't like something, then I'll just keep going around the corner until I do like it. And there you go. There you go. And there's your little line going all the way through there. And again, if you wanted to correct something, you can just come in here and add a note if you wanted to and make a correction. All right, so now let's go back to the next one. This one I want you to stitch out just so you can have some success right off the rip. Stitch this out. All right, here we go. We're going to start here. This is a left click, right click, right click. I'm going to right click around, right click around, right click. And the reason why I did this is because, now here we go. You can kind of go straight here. This is a left click. It's another left click until you get to a round part here. And then right clicking around, right click, right click. There's a thing on here called auto scroll, and I want you to get used to that immediately because it works. And there's your perfect heart. Let's fill it up with something there. And stitch this out, man, so you can have some success on your first day. And there's your stitch out. Stitch it out, see how you like it, whatever. You can make it bigger or smaller. Now, what I'm going to do is give you, and what you want to do here is why I put this down here, is take this, put it in the middle here. You can turn this the same color. And there you go. Now you can stitch that out. All right. So now here is a little bit of extra work. This is what's coming up next. And so what I want you to do is work with both tools now. So we'll use this um, close shape here. I'm just right clicking here. Just left click. 
left click. And here's why you want to go in. Now, it looks like I might be straight on the line, but if you scroll way in here, you see how I'm not on there? So make sure you get in there. Because if you don't, then you'll kind of be off a little bit. Now, a lot of people say that doesn't matter. But for me, I want to be as, as accurate as possible so I don't have to do any edits in the end. So there we go. These are just left clicks. So left click, right click, right click, right click. And then you can come over here and close this up. Excuse me. This should be a left click. And then you can close it up. Now let's fill that up. And there you go. You can fill that with a satin stitch or a Tommy stitch. And you see if you wanted to fix this. You can fix that a little bit. The next thing you want to do is now here's a new tool that we're going to int introduce you to. This is the columns, the column A. I'm going to come in here. I'll show you what buttons I'm clicking later. Don't worry about it. And now this is a left to right, in, out, in, out, in, out, right? It's another one you just want to get your muscle memory. This is another class, but this is extra work for you. So you're gonna, and it's the same thing though. When you want to curve, you right click, but you go on the other side. So to show you what I did here, I started on this side. Then I come on this side. So that was left, right. And you want to go left, right again. And if you want to do a curve, this would be a right click or a left click, right? So there you go. So I did two right clicks, but now you can go left click, left click, and then come up here, left click left click and then you hit enter and there you go all right now here we go again using this other tool gonna go across here and then right click right click right click this is a left click we're gonna go up I'm doing this pretty fast because this is just extra homework I want you to practice this though come down here Right click, left click, left click, hit enter. Satin stitch. Now this one is kind of wicked, but we're gonna go through it together. All right, so we're gonna use the column A tool again, or the block tool, click again, so now it's in, out, these are right clicks. Out, inside, outside, inside. And when you're doing these clicks here, so this is a right click, you wanna come straight across. You don't wanna come down here. You come straight across, right click, right click, and out, in, out, inside, outside, inside, outside, inside and then you just finish up with two left clicks and you're done that's a little bit of homework for you if you can get that letter done you're doing good that's the use of both the tools we just learned and a new tool i'll see you guys in the next class peace